Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. It has been so long since I've done a sit down, talk to the camera type video. I've been playing around with some backgrounds. What do you guys think of this? <laughs> There's a door behind me with a mirror. Here is my dress form. And then I've got a little bit of decoration on the wall, which is a hint toward a video that I will be bringing to you guys here shortly. And that is, what in the world did she do with that wallpaper from her old apartment? So here's a little hint. Actually, it's a big hint. Um, but today I'm talking about the things that I made in January. So January was a really fun month. It was the first month where I felt like I was really kind of settled here. I'd come in, I'd gotten moved in, found my way around, you know, got everything uh, unpacked and put away. And January really felt like a clean slate, which is really great for the new year. Um, so I was able to get a little bit of sewing done. I did the Sew My Style um, make. I did a refashion, which is a goal of mine. And I made a couple of other little fun things too. So let me show you what I made. We'll start with Sew My Style. So so my style had a rough start to the year. I'm not a thousand percent sure what happened. All I know is that the woman who was in charge, something came up. No one was hearing from her. No one was really hearing from anyone. All we knew was that you were supposed to make something that you could work out in, um, something athletic. And then that was it. No one was hearing anything about what we were going to do in February or anything. So there were no patterns um, that were assigned to this month. There were no coupon codes for any patterns. It was really bizarre. So everybody just made any old athletic workout garment. Um, and so I went with McCall's 6710 and I chose to make this top here. Um, I do have the shorts cut out, but I started to second guess my fabric choice. So I put them in a work in progress bin and we all know how that goes. Um, but here's how the top turned out. And I have a lot of thoughts about this top. So I'm going to do a separate video for it. Um, just to kind of go over, I guess my criticisms of it, um, things I would do differently next time for sure. Um, but here's the top, the fabric you might recognize. It came from um, Joanne maybe last year. There was also maybe a blue colorway. I'm having an issue with this, hold on. It, that twisty back thing is, is a little confusing sometimes. I guess that's right. Let me get the hem. No, that's definitely not right. Or is it? Lord have mercy. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so here's the front. You know, just the usual tank top. And then here's the back. So you can see that the wrong side of the fabric shows and all of the hem work that you've done, which isn't ideal. Um, and I didn't really realize it when I was making it. Obviously, you can just turn flip the back piece one more time and it would be right side out. Um, so that's one of the criticisms. There are some um, kind of fit things that I want to talk about too. And I want to kind of show it to you on me, which nobody has really seen. Um, I did post a couple of pictures on Instagram, but that's it. Um, but the fabric is, I've worked out in it a few times. The fabric is nice and breathable and lightweight and comfortable and all those things. It's not super stretchy. Like it's not like your typical knit where, you know, it's going to be super skin tight or anything. Um, it's more of a light, flowy, loose top, which is, I mean, I guess what's advertised. See? Um, but anyways, so 6710 got done. That was fun. Then, oh, so this guy. So you guys just saw this. Um, the video went out a couple of days ago. This is the Deer and Doe Magnolia. And the cool part about this dress is that my Instagram followers designed this dress. They chose the fabric from two options. They chose the pattern from two options. 
And then they chose whether they wanted it to be knee length, um, they chose the sleeve, they chose the neckline. Um, so it's really like an Instagram designed dress, which was really fun and really cool to see it all come together. So there is a video for this that you guys can watch and get all the details all about that guy. But spoiler, I love it. The fabric is awesome. It's a rayon crepe. Um, it's beautiful, drapey. When the wind catches it, it's awesome. So yeah, this is a this is a love. Um, there are some fit issues you can even see here on my dress form, and a little bit when I'm wearing it. But the bust, who else has made this dress? And like, is it made for a double D or what? Um, so I do have an idea that I'm going to muslin this because I never really did. Uh, muslin this out of some more stable fabric so I can get an idea of really what's going on and try and fix it. I just did a little fix on the fly here with this one where I just, you know, took in the cups. Um, but it really, it wasn't the right way to do it. And if I need to do a small bust adjustment, that definitely isn't what, <laughs> isn't what I did. So, but anyways, this got done this month. This was a lot of fun. Um, so hopefully I'll get to do more design the look type things because that was really cool. Okay, then I made this guy. This is actually my refashion for the month. And you can tell because look how cool the shoulders are. This is the shoulder seam. And you can see that there's like some weird stuff happening with the denim. And that's because all of this like tie dye denim was a gathered waistband. And this part here, well, it's easier to turn it around. Um, this part here was a dart. Isn't that so cool? I just love it. It was like this long, plain, square skirt. So I will show you guys, um, I'll have a video, a whole separate video on this so you guys can see like how I did it and what it looked like before and all of that. But I did want to show it to you in this video. You can also see the, the um, lining I used. Look familiar. Our favorite. Um, um, Oh shoot, Le Fleurs, isn't that what it is? Anyways, um, the hem is the real showstopper. That's why I got the garment from Goodwill to begin with. It was an old Eddie Bauer skirt and has all this like embroidery on it. And here's the back. So it's completely open back. Um, it has this like, I don't know, holstery type of thing, which ironically have been showing up on the red carpets. Like guys are wearing these like, holster things and I was like hey that's my dress um so side note if um Dan ever wants a holstery thing I can make him one out of this pattern but um it does have a open back and so pegging backing off of this I ended up adding vertical fisheye darts to this pattern and I thought to myself you know I am always harping about vertical fisheye darts, I should do kind of like a, like a show and tell and show you guys exactly what they do. And then you guys can decide for yourself if you like that better, if it would work better for your body type or whatever. So I ended up making this adorable version as well without the fisheye darts. So this one doesn't have any darts in it at all. Um, I also raised the back of this one. So that, cause I know a lot of you are like, I can't wear low back, I have to wear a bra. So I raised the back of this one to show you that you could make a quick alteration in order to be able to wear a bra. And I also did a tie, I tied the two neck together instead of a button. So I made a couple of alterations just to make this one a little bit different, but I really love the jacquard fabric and the kind of reverse that I was able to use on this one. Um, I really love that a lot. So you're gonna see this in a before and after refashion video, and then you'll see these two side by side to show you the difference in using a fisheye dart mostly, but also you can see the different, the changes that I made to the back where I raised um, the back. You can barely even tell now because it all it's all droopy. Um, and I forgot to say, these dresses are this pattern, Butterick 6447. So you guys can see that there. It's 
kind of older yeah 2017 so a couple years old so you might not be able to find it in stores anymore but i was pleasantly surprised with how much i liked this pattern so i made a the black and white version but that is it those are the things that i made in january um i did start on some other projects um but i haven't finished them i'll talk about those in my plans video since those will become part of part of my plans for February. It was kind of like, I didn't make a plans video for January. So it was just kind of like, I don't know, I guess I'll start on this. <laughs> anyway, so I hope that you had a successful January with your sewing as well. Let me know um, what you made this month. If you have a blog, leave a link. If you have a blog, leave a link and let me know where I can find your stuff so I can check out what you've been making. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.